Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the double integral. Today we will discuss about how you can find the area of this bounded region. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So what is the objective is that whatever the area, whatever the bounded region are, then we have to find the area of this bounded region over this Cartesian as well as the polar curve. What is the concept behind is that we will see here. Firstly. When when you have the Cartesian coordinates like of the x and y plane, then you can find the area of such kind of the questions like y of this and this. When you are talking about the polar curves, then our target is to find the area of the regions which are bounded by some curves and here. And similarly for these Cartesians, the rule can, is very simple. What we can think is we will firstly draw this area according to the picture. Like if you have this, we can draw the graph of here. And the graph of this parabola onto this x and y plane. If you have these polar coordinates, then we can draw the graph of uh, polar coordinates, and then we can find the shaded region. After that, we will find the Cartesian coordinates. Either you can find the area by using dx dy, or you can use them as a dy dx. That's on your choice. On the other end, when you convert into the polar coordinates, we all know that from Cartesian to polar, you have to change them to be the axis. Nothing but here, y is this. Then, instead of the dx dy, it can be changes into the this. What is the j? Is? J is nothing but my Jacobian. How you can find the Jacobian of this transformation? We all knows that Jacobian is my here. So you can substitute this. But is the partial derivative of x with respect to the r is cos. Y is with respect to the here. This is my minus of sine theta, and this is my uh, with respect to theta is nothing but my cos of this. Now. Can you find the determinant of this? This is nothing but r cos here plus sine square. That is nothing but my r is there. So therefore, j is my r. So I can substitute j is here. So therefore, r is. So this is the formula for the polar coordinate, and this is for the Cartesian. So let's see. We will discuss about the nine to ten examples in this video, so that you can easily understand the concept. So what is the step number one? Is you always draw the graph. You can see this is the Cartesian coordinate, so we can draw the like x and y. What is the graph of the y is equal to two x plus four and y is equal to four minus x square? So firstly, we can draw this parabola four minus x square. This is the graph of the four minus x square. How you can find the area of the region? You can either use as a dx dy or dy dx. It's depending upon you. Our target is to find these limits. Now draw this two x plus four. So whenever this, what is the value of this? Is my four. This value is my. You can see this is my minus of two. So when two x plus four, you can draw this graph like here. Now you have to shade the area. You have to shade the area enclosed by the line and the parabola. So this is the line and the parabola. So this is my shaded portion. So once you can shade this portion, now depending upon you whether you want to use this or this. If you want to use firstly as a dy, then you can firstly take the horizontal vertical strip. This. What is the value of the y here? So the value of the y is my. What is the value of the y here? Is two x plus four. What is the value of the y is my four minus x square. So this is the limit of here is two x plus four, and this value is my four minus x square. In this shaded portion, this is always be the minimum, and this is the maximum limit. So what is the minimum value of the x is here is my minus of two. This is the maximum value is my zero. So the limits are my from minus two to zero. On the other end, if you want to take as a dx, then instead of this vertical strip, you have to take an as a horizontal strip. What is the value of this x? You can find the value of the x from here. This is nothing but my four minus y. What is the value of the x here? Is four minus y upon two. So these are my limits: root of four minus y and y minus four upon two. And what are the minimum and the maximum value at here for the y? The value of y is zero. Value of y is my four. 0 to 4 so that's depending upon you so let's me take as a dy so if you taken as a dy what's the value of this is you can see here now the rest of the integration is very simple you have to integrate this with respect to y it can be written like here y you can see when you integrate them from here so it will be my 4 minus x square minus of 2 minus of 4 of this so what is that this is x square minus x square minus of 2x it will be cancel out So this is my here. Now you can integrate them. This is x cube by three minus of x square. So from minus two to zero. When you take this, 
the answer will be these are the required area that is a square unit is the required area look at the another one is again you have to find the area of the region in the xy plane bounded by the parabola so y is equal to x square you have to firstly draw this this is my y is equal to x square you can do either as a dy dx or dx dy so let's say this example i can solve with the dx and then you have to take line x plus y is equal to 2 this is a line of the x plus y is equal to 2 and y is, is equal to 4 so this coordinate is my 4 so definitely this line is passing through here now can you find the area of them look at that this is bounded by parabola this is this line is bounded by the parabola right of the line so this is my x plus y so this portion is my left so this is my portion of the right side so that is my shaded portion now you want to take integrate with respect to x so you have to take horizontal strip what is the limit of this here what is the value of the x on this line so you can take the value of the x is 2 minus y limit of the x is my root y so the limit is 2 minus y here and the outside limit is y what is the minimum value of the y is 4 and here is my 1 here is my 4 so the minimum value is my 1 maximum value is my 4 so now you can simply integrate them what is that this is x over this now you can integrate over this limit is my root y minus 2 plus of y now you can integrate this with respect to y also you can get as of here substitute the upper and lower limits you will get this as the right answer as the square units look at this as a polar coordinates so you have to think only for the first quadrant so you all know that this is the equation of the cartoids so you know the graph of this so this is the graph of here now you have to think only for the first quadrant so what is the shaded portion is this is my shaded portion now since this is the polar coordinate so dx dy is replaced by here firstly you have to take the limits of the r so how you can take the limits of the r is you can start draw the vertical line here what is the value of this what is the value of the r at here this is zero what is the value of the r at this boundary point what is the value of the r so this graph is my 1 plus sine theta can you find the value of the r is 1 plus sine theta so limit is my 1 plus sine theta and what is the minimum and the maximum value of the theta is you can see the minimum value is here what is that angle is my 0 maximum value is here what is the angle is my pi by 2 so this is my pi by 2 so the limits are my 0 to pi by 2 and here now the rest of the part is very simple you have to integrate with respect to r so it is my r square upon 2 this is 1 plus sign and here you can upload the values upper minus lower you will get this here now you can integrate this with respect to theta you can separate them 1 by 2 is common you will get this and for the calculation easier part we know that this is here since it is a 0 to pi by 2 so what you can do is that either you can change them to be 1 minus of this or else you can simply use them here so if it is 2 then how you can solve them it is 2 then 1 if it is even then you can write as a pi by 2 here but if it is odd there is no need of the pi by 2 then you can write as a 3 2 1 similarly if it is 0 to say sine of 7 how you can solve that it can be written as a 7 denominator 6 5 4 3 2 until 1 is here since it is a odd so there is no need to write the pi by 2 whenever it is a even so you have to write as a pi by 2 so what is the answer of this it is 2 1 since it is even so it can be written as pi by 2 it is a 1 it is a odd so you can start with the 1 here it is a 1 so there is no need to write the pi by 2 so that is the required square unit is the answer look at the another one is there now again it is a cartesian coordinate so you have to draw the graph of the y is equal to x square and the line y is equal to x plus 2 this is the line of the y is equal to x plus 2 now what is that this is the parabola and the line so this is my shaded portion now you can do either the dx or dy so look at that if i take limits from firstly x so i can take it horizontally what is the value of this here what is the value of the x or is this is my root y what is the value of the x from here is y minus 2 so i can take an as x square to uh, y, if i take an as a y firstly so I can take the limit either on this side or on this side. Both the limits are same. What is the value is x here? x plus 2. 
this is again x square this is x plus so the limits are same and this is the value what is the minimum value this is my minus one point of the intersection this is the value of is my two r there. now you can substitute this or if you want to take as a dx so you have to take horizontal axis what is the limit of this what is the value of the x is my root y what is the value of the x is y minus 2 so root this to this and this to this one so why there is a need of the 2 because if you take from this to this the limits are my minus root y to this and similarly for this blue portion is from minus y to here okay so now you can simplify it that's very simple you can integrate them you will get this as the required square unit is the answer if you want to solve with the help of these two red portion is corresponding to this green blue portion is here again you will get the same answer as of 9 by 2 so you can solve by either of the method look at again now it's a polar coordinate so your area will be my r of dr this is the graph of this now it is not given as a first quadrant so it can be written as all so it means the shaded portion is by all these four quadrants so because of the symmetry i can simply write it as four times you can see the four times of the first quadrant how you can find that that's again very simple you can start a line from here to this what is the value of the r at here zero what is the value of the r at here so you can find from this is a square root of four cos of two theta so you can see limits are by 0 to 4 what is that that so this is my 0 and this is nothing but my pi by 4 r because this line is what is the max value here? you can find the max value uh, it will be by pi by 4 now what is that this is the integration r square by 2 you can integrate them you will here again you can see that's a by simple units integration you will get the required answer look at one more are there so there are the two polar curves so firstly this is the graph corresponding to the circle r is equal to 1 what is the graph of this this is the polar this are this is the graph of this now you have to taken as inside of this polar outside of the circle it means we have to firstly combine them so once you will combine this is the portion now look at that you have to portion outside this circle so this red color is my circle you have to take an outside this circle this is my outside circle and inside of this blue portion that is what is the inside of this this is my here so what is the common portion is only my here now since it is a polar coordinate so what you can do you have to find the limits of this so you can start from here this is a vertical line so this is not the shaded portion so this is my here what is the value of the r at here what is the value of the r at here so you can see the value of the r is on this curve so this curve is my r is minus 1 plus cos theta so this value of r is my here and what is the value of the r at a so corresponding to this curve r is my 1 so the limit is from 1 to minus 1 plus cos theta and what is our limits are there so you can see the max value is here pi by 4 and the uh, and since from this to this is my pi by 2 to pi now what you can do that that's a very simple you can see this value is you can easily solve that is r square by 2 and upper minus lower you can integrate them and you will get this required answer as square units look at one more as a polar coordinates so this is my again two polar curves are there so this is the graph corresponding to r is 1 plus cos this is the graph corresponding to the 1 minus cos and you have to find the common area it means we have to combine them once you combine it will be here you have to take an as a common area in the interior so what is the area of the interior so this is the common area of the interior so this is my now because of the symmetry because of the symmetry i can write as a four times of this only this area as of the four times you can see rest is similar you can draw the line as here the value of r is my here zero value of the r at this that is on this red color that is one minus cos theta so you zero to one minus cos and since it is the portion of the semicircle so 0 to pi by 2 limit minimum angle is my here is 0 and the limit is my pi by 2 1 rest are my simple integration you can do that that's the again you can do the integration by parts uh, you can see from here this is one integration is pi by 2 and from here this is cos square minus 
2 is outside is cos of theta now what you can do that this is 2 times pi by 2 this is now my 2 upper is 1 since it is a even so it can be written as pi by 2 minus 2 this power is 1 so I can return as a 1 and upper is 1 since it is a odd there is no need to write the pi by 2 make sure that the limits are only 0 to pi by 2 you can see it's a 0 to pi by 2 so that will be the right answer of this problem square unit is the right answer so I hope you can simply learn the simple concept of taking this limit as the area of the curve we will see in our next class how you can find the volume of the solids that we will see in our next class till then you can simply like share and comment on this video and share with your friends best of luck students happy learning